More mega boxes. Hey guys, Zero here, and today the three mega boxes: 22, 23, Upper Deck Series One Hawk. Getting eight cards pack, ten total packs per box. So nine Series One pack in that bonus pack with those 94, 95 die cuts. Before I continue on these cards, 28, 46 Canadian. So these are the best pals Black Friday mega boxes. I just been sitting on these, and well, I still haven't pulled any of the top guys. Manny Beniers right here, definitely a worthy chase. His young guns goes for around 100 bucks. I haven't pulled him. I haven't pulled Boldy, Owen Power. So hopefully you get one of those guys here, and let's get right into it. All right, mega box number one from your best pals. Considering these are largely unspecific. Spectacular. Let's start off with these. Maybe get a red parallel. I think they're in here, but there we go. There's Manny Beneers. Don't know if that has any value. Won't have a whole lot if it does. There's Matt Boldy and Lucas Reichel. There you go. Also, it looks like we actually have a product on deck. SB Game Use is coming out on the 14th, it seems. Hopefully, it doesn't get pushed. Probably have something new to open. That's 2122 SB Game Use. Still waiting on like 90% of 2122 products, as well as 2021 the cup. I expect to see that in like 2026, but let's get into these mega boxes of Series 1. Okay, first pack. Expecting at least two young guys in here. I have a 25% chance at three so in the space a lot so let's go right through this pretty quick oh we got dazzler to start Abe Lattice got dazzler's blue there you go start things off with a dazzler's blue okay hoping to get one of the top three guys in here this break would be a success if we got one of those guys as math equations what 80 bucks or something these three costs so those guys would pretty much cover the three mega boxes so hopefully get one here we got young guns so it is up oh, in Korzak. young guns hold him last time so it's Korzak. I guess we'll see if there's a pattern with these but next up here we got another young guns oh we got a canvas you did canvas Jerry McCann pretty sure I have that canvas also, he has a fish there. Okay, how about the Kraken? Like, dang. Very impressive there. Matty Beneers is definitely going to get the call there, there's no doubt. What do we got here? We got Shiny Card. Oh, debut date. Seth Jarvis. Yeah, there you go. Jarvis, debut date. Base. Next pack up here. Do we have another Young Guns? No, another Shiny Card. Center of Attention. Alexander Parkoff. I mean, the quality is nice on these filler inserts, but they're largely filler inserts. They're largely unspectacular. Next pack up here. Is that a Young Gun? I should know. I'm pretty sure it's a Young Guns, but there's Suit Skinner. Two goalie portrait cards there, pretty much, but we do have a Young Guns here today. Oh, checklist. Dang it. At the checklist, Young Guns. Matt Boldy, Marco Rossi. So I already pulled that, but there you go. There's a checklist once again. Yeah. Dang it, getting duplicates here. Well, hopefully that's not the last Young Guns for this mega box, but there's a Debrinket UD canvas. We got two more packs here. Uh, maybe, maybe not. What do we have here? Oh, we got a defense mechanism, Rasmus Anderson. Okay, and the final pack for mega box number one. I keep on wanting to say blaster, but we have, oh, we got an honor roll. Yeah, Jordan Cairo, superstar honor roll. All right, mega box number two. And yes, the regular price for this is $56.92. Definitely not worth it. 28 definitely is worth it. I definitely think 56 is too high. I think four. 40 bucks should be the max for these, but let's get into mega box number two here. More base. We have a young guy to start off. Nope. We got a portraits. Mitch Marner. UD portraits. Point Street record holder. Mitch Marner there. Okay. It's a 2021 picture also. Even though it's a 22, 23 product. More base. And oh, we should do the die cut pack here. See if we get anything different. There's Jordan Spence. Matty Beneers again. And Matt Boldy again. Huh. Okay. Pack number two. Ten total packs in the mega box. Do we have a young gun? Two. Oh, no. We got Spencer Knight, who's been solid for Florida, but rookie retrospective cake. Okay. And we... Yeah, do we have a Young Guns here? Finally, no. Uh, I think it's a canvas. Yeah, Brent Burns, UD canvas. Okay, next up here, do we finally have a Young Guns? Uh, I don't think so. No, we have a base pack. Yeah, that's a base pack. Okay, still expecting two Young Guns. I think we have like five packs left here. Oh, we got one of these. These are nice. These are 120 packs. I mean, these replace jersey cards, which is questionable. We got a Troy Terry Freestyle. So yeah, this goes into the UD game jersey slot. Upper Deck known for putting the like, technology cards and special cards to replace hits, which is hot. Style. I'm pretty sure they're doing that with SB Game Use, but there you go, Troy Terry Freestyle Face. Still need a couple young guns here. Do we have one here? We do. It's a Dallas Star there. Yeah. Frederick Carlstrom Young Guns. I already have him. Dang it. But there you go, Frederick Carlstrom Young Guns. Next pack up here. Next Young Guns. Note Defense Mechanism. Brent Burns. Two more packs here. We need one more Young Guns at least. It's right here. Is it a good name? 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nope. Koliachonic. Well, not horrible, but not the one we're looking for. Last lap Koliachonic Young Guns. So go. And a final pack. Hopefully there's a third Young Guns in here. Maybe a Canvas Young Guns or something. Uh, there is a third Young Guns in here. So, might as well reveal it quick. Three, two, one. Bam. Uh, Michelli Young Guns. So, that's not a bad Young Guns. Pulled that one also. Good play for the Coyotes. So, yeah. Michelli Young Guns to finish off. Blaster number two. Mega box number two. All right, let's open up the third and final mega box for this break. Okay, mega box number three. Start off with that 94-95 die cut pack. All right, well, Jordan Spence again, Matty Beneers again, Matt Boldy again. Okay, the same three as the last one. And here are the nine total packs. Final mega box. Still haven't pulled the top guy, or top guys for that matter. Haven't pulled any of the top three. I think Rossi's probably the best player I've pulled from three hobby boxes and like five mega boxes. Uh, we got a canvas to, to bring it again. Getting a bunch of duplicates, dang. 
Okay, not good. Next pack up here. Do we have a youngest? No, we got an honor roll. Marco Rossi. That's a rookie. Superstar honor roll. Okay. Then we got, I think we have a canvas in here. What the heck do we got in here? We got checklist. Oh, we got a beauty port. I already have that one too. Chachikov, dang it. Next pack up here. Do we have a young guns? Yep. Jacob Perot. Young guns. I don't think I've pulled Perot. There's son of Yannick right there. Good prospect for the Ducks there. So there's Jacob Perot. Base. There definitely has to be patterns with young guns. There's a certain break I'm doing soon. I'll talk about patterns more. I might be revisiting a certain year. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, freestyles. Another one. Barkov. There we go. Barkov freestyles. I'm looking for young guns. Number two here. Hopefully get one of the top guys for once. No. Nope. John Dersey. Rookie retrospective there. Okay. Next pack up here. What the heck do we got going on here? Another base pack. Kick. Still need one more young guns. We only have two packs left. Is it here? No. Okay. Lucas Raymond debuted eight. October 14th, 2021. And the final pack. This should have a young gun. <laughs> Hot pack here. Okay, well, definitely Young Guns in here. Ristolainen, Barkov, might as well slow reveal it. Brody, Tanev, Bushnevich, Barkov, oh, Hayden. Oh, man, this has been rough. Hayden Hodgson, Young Guns. Not a good one there. I think he's played one game for Philly this year, but largely a depth guy. Hayden Hodgson, Young Guns, so. That finishes off. Three more Best Pal Mega Boxes, dang it. So yeah, guys, there's three more of these. Definitely a rougher break, especially when the crop falls off very hard, very fast. You're not getting the top guys. You're not having a good time. I think, what, Michelli is probably the best Young Guns we got there. I mean, Pro's a good prospect, but at large, that was definitely weak. So, well, there is that. Yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.